Welcome to integer subtraction problem type 2 and for this video we're asked to subtract negative 3 minus negative 8 and 7 minus negative 9. Now I've already got the rules written up here for addition but this is a subtraction problem so in order to apply these rules we have to turn subtraction into addition and in the previous video we talked about the, the little remembering device called keep change change and that was how we turned subtraction into addition so the first problem here negative 3 minus a negative 8 if we apply keep change change to turn that into an addition problem, I'm going to keep the sign of the first number, negative 3. That doesn't change. But then after I keep the first one, I'm going to change the operation from subtraction into addition. So this subtraction becomes adding. And then I'm going to change the sign of the last number so that negative 8 becomes a positive 8. Now that we've done this we have turned what was originally our subtraction problem into a new addition problem which seems like a, a little bit of work there to to turn a problem into another kind of problem but the nice thing about it is now I've got my rules over there that I remember that I can apply more consistently. So negative 3 plus a positive 8, the signs are different. So I use the second part of that rule that says when, the, when I have different signs, I'm supposed to subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. So first subtract a 3 and an 8. I'm forgetting about signs at this point. 3 and 8, when I subtract, I get 5. But then the second part of that rule says keep the sign of the larger number. So the larger number between the 3 and the 8 is the 8, and the 8 is positive, so my answer is positive. So negative 3 minus negative 8 gave us a positive 5. If it seems a little counterintuitive that I had all those negatives and ended up with a positive, that's the way it worked out. So the second one, 7 minus a negative 9. I'm going to go through the same process, 7 minus a negative 9. I'm going to apply keep change change to turn that into an addition problem. So I keep the sign of the first number, which the 7 is positive, it's going to stay positive. I change the operation from subtraction into addition, and then I change the sign of the last number. So instead of being a negative 9, it becomes a positive 9. So I kept the sign of the 7, I changed subtraction into addition, and then I changed the sign of the negative 9 into a positive 9. Now I've got addition, they're both positive, the signs are the same, so the rule for addition tells me to add the digits, 7 and 9, gives me 16, and to keep the sign. Both numbers are positive, so my answer is still positive. So 7 minus our negative 9, the original question, is a positive 16.